I'm Joe Kirshner with American Water College. Watch as I use my five-step approach to solve this problem. So one type of well problem is determining the static water level in a well. So when we're talking about static water level, they'll give you information such as the length of your airline or your bubbler tube, and they'll give you the pressure on the gauge when the pump is not running and when the pump is running. Um, so you can use that information either to calculate drawdown, which is the difference between your pumping water level and your static water level, or you can use it to calculate static water level. And when we talk about static water level, we're actually talking about the distance between the surface of the water and ground level. So to calculate that, what we'll do is we'll take the total length of this bubbler tube or the total length of the airline and we'll subtract out whatever the column of water above the bottom of that line is. And we calculate how far above the bottom of this airline by taking the pressure required to move air through and out the tube and we convert that PSI to feet by multiplying it by 2.31 feet for every one PSI. Well, let's go ahead and take a look and see how this looks when we do this static water level problem. This problem reads, determine the static water level in a well, and we're talking about the distance from ground level to the water surface that has a 350 foot airline used for level indication. Pressure on the airline gauge reads 75 pounds per square inch when the pump is running and 100 pounds per square inch when the pump is not running. Okay, so we're looking for static water level. Now static water level is the level when the pump is not running. Okay, so they gave us two depths. We're interested in the not running or the static water level. Okay, we have a 350 foot airline and the pressure is 75 PSI when it's running and 110 when it's not. So our static pressure is 110 pounds per square inch gauge. So to calculate the total column of water above the discharge of this bubbler tube, we take that 110 pounds per square inch the static, the pressure when it's not running, the static water pressure, we multiply it by 2.31 feet per PSI. So for every 2.31 feet of water column, that's one PSI. And that gives us a total water column length of 254.1 feet. Okay, so all I did is I took this 110 PSI when the pump's not running multiplied it by 2.31 feet per PSI, and that gives me 254 feet of water column. So now I can use that to find my ultimate answer. So our static water level is going to be the airline length, which is 350 feet, minus my feet of water column. So I'm going to take that 350 feet and subtract 254 from it. And that gives me a static water level of 96 feet. So this is telling me that the water surface is 96 feet below ground level. If you need additional help preparing for a state license exam, click the link below and we'll get you some more information about our license specific exam prep courses.